All right, guys, I'm so excited. In today's video, I did a try on a get ready with me with the Mel Cosmetics. I always forget what this is called. This is the Amore E Mariposis palette. I think that's how you pronounce it. This puppy is regular seven dollars, not seven, seventy dollars, and it's on sale right now for twenty eight dollars. Yes, it is. And let me just tell you something. This palette is amazing. Spoiler alert. That's what she looks like. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out. Get it for $28. But if you want to see how I did this eye look, hear a story how my man man thought I was a racist cokehead. <laughs> oh my God. That's a story you don't want to miss. Then keep on watching. All right, so we're going to do a try on. This is the Amore E Mariposis palette. This is from Melt Cosmetics. This puppy was originally $70 when it came out. But Mel Cosmetics has a sale going on right now. This is only $28. They also have a blush palette that was regular like $58. And that's on sale for like $23. It's like 60% off. I'll leave the link down below the website and all that kind of stuff. They still have these available. Today is Thursday when I'm filming. And right before, I went on my phone and they still had them available. So I'm like, you know what? Let's create an eye look um, and see, like, is it worth, well, I don't know about $70, but is it worth the $28? All right, so when you open her up, oh, this is the first time I'm opening this up. So this is like red. It feels like velvet. That's pretty, whoa. This is gorgeous. Okay, so it has like these butterflies. That is the back. Right here it says melt. And then it has a mirror. It has a little thing you could pull off. All right, it has a, let me take this off. And this is like thick. This is pretty good, you know? And you bend this back. Oh my God, they have like little butterflies all over it. Look at that. When this first came out, it was beautiful. I just could not justify $70. I'm gonna be real, because I have tried a couple of the Melt Cosmetics palettes, and they were okay. They were, you know, really pretty, but like, this was $70, you know what I mean? So, this is just gorgeous. Okay, so it's mainly mattes, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, like shimmers or metallics, and the rest are mattes. I will say, in the picture, it looked like this would be a little bit more brighter, like brighter colors. However, I'm glad that it's more like dull. I mean, it's not dull, but you know what I mean? It's not as bright as what the picture shows because I actually like this better. And everyone ha every one of the eyeshadows has a butterfly in it, except for like the shimmers. This is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Okay, so... Let me get a brush and let's just try it on and see. Like I said, since they still have it available for $28, you can't beat that. And this is pretty heavy, like especially the mirror, but it's like weighted. It's good packaging, you know? All right, I'm going to go with this shade right here as like a transition shade right there. And it picks up fairly a lot, you know? All right, so let's do this. I figured, why do my eyeshadow? I want to tell you guys a few funny stories, like what happened. Oh, you're not going to believe it. So I had to go to the post office today. That is actually really, really pretty. It does have, let me just show you, it does have a lot of uh, kick up. I don't know what you can see, but I don't mind it. Um, when it has a lot of kick up for me, it seems to blend better, but I'm just showing, telling you what I see because I know some people don't like it, but for me, it doesn't bother me, you know? Let me tell you this story. I went to the post office earlier, okay? <laughs> I have a P.O. box. And I seen this guy in line because sometimes I get one of the smallest mailboxes. That way it's the cheapest, right? Because if anything's bigger, like a package or anything like that, you'll get like a little key. And then you take the key to a bigger mailbox where you can get it out. And if it's just too big, you get a little slip that you have to take it to the front. And then they'll go get your package, right? So... <laughs> That's why I had a little slip. And I go in and the guy in front and I go, oh, he looks so familiar. And then I remembered who it was. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This pretty like pinkish color shade. That's a gorgeous shade. 
Yeah, it definitely has a lot of pickup, even when I'm doing that, which I, I, it's beautiful. This is a lot different, I can tell you already, than like the Smoke palette I have. And then there's like another one, I forget what it's called. But this is definitely a lot better. Very pigmented, very pigmented. Is this like a pigment palette? Let me see. I'm not sure, but it reminds me more of like a pigment palette. Okay, so the guy that I seen used to be uh, from years ago when I lived in the apartments, okay? And he was my mailman. And so he was only my mailman for a few times because uh, let me tell you what happened. The first time he comes to the door. Now, he, he's, he's a black man and I'm telling you this for a reason, okay? So I had like one of those, uh, and we're going back years ago, even before like I did YouTube and stuff. Do you remember like it was those black like charcoal masks that you put on? Not like a sheet mask, like a face mask. So I had one of those on, okay? And anyway, if you had to sign something or if you had any packages, they would knock on their door because they wouldn't leave it on the porch, of course, right? So he knocked on the door. I think it was something like I had to sign. And... I had like a black face mask on and already he looked at me like weird. And I don't know if he thought, oh, that's strange. She has a sheet mask on or is this girl trying to do blackface? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. And so like he was kind of weary and I didn't even think, I didn't put two and two together. I even forgot I had the, the face mask on, honestly, or I wouldn't have answered the door, you know? But I was like, oh, how are you? He's like, I'm, I'm all right, you know? And he really like didn't, Pay me no mind and gave me my packages or I signed. I can't remember. Uh, I think it was like Amazon or something like that because I didn't get subscription boxes or anything at that time. All right. So maybe about a week later. Okay. I'm putting on a little makeup because I had something to do. And you're going to see in this video, walking, uh, and you got to talk and do your work. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a reddish color. And, uh, I'm very sloppy when I do my makeup, even like when I do my eyeshadow here, right? Because when I'm done, I clean it up and all that. So I had my foundation on. I had like, you know, um, all my makeup on. And so now, you know, I'm using like setting powder, right? This, this is definitely has to be a pressed pigment, this one. So I would go in very little, you know what I mean? And then just work your way up. Anyway. So, like I said, I always get powder, like when I put it all over my shirt, everywhere, okay? So, I must have had it on my arm. And I remember right before I opened the door, I went like this because my nose was itching. But you know when you have makeup on, you don't want to scratch. So, I kind of did this, like this, like a patent, you know what I mean? Like motion, right? And he opened the door and he, he was like this. And I thought, well, either I'm that damn ugly or he doesn't like my makeup, like I, the start of my eyeshadow and all that or like weird. And I'm like, and I was always in a good mood. I'm like, oh, hi, how are you? You know, talking, you know, and like he didn't even really answer me. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? He must really think I'm racist or something like that. I don't know. So I go look in the mirror. I'm like, do I have something on my face? No. Do you know what I had on my face? Setting powder. I didn't realize that I had setting powder on my arm. So when I went like this, I had white powder on my nose. It looked like I just got done doing some Coke and a lot of it because I had it all over my nose. So not only did he think I was doing blackface and racist, but I was also a big time Coke head. And do you know, I haven't seen him again. Like there was a, then it was like a lady male person. I was so embarrassed that every time, like if the male came and my husband or my kids were home, I was like, get the door just in case it was him. Because how do you even explain that? And I, you know how embarrassed I was? So anyway, make a long story short, he was in front of me. And I've made sure like, and be as quiet as you can. Because he probably doesn't even remember who I am. But, you know, I was like, oh my God, what are the odds that I ever seen him again? How embarrassing is that? I'm going to go in with that first um, brush that I did and just kind of like blend it. I'm not adding any more shadow to this. All right, so now with that bigger brush, I'm going to go into that first shade right here and go ever so lightly and just help blend that red. It's blending. It's really pretty. All 
that's really nice. And like I said, I'll clean this up. But in person, you can see the red and the light orange. Like you can, you know, like you ever have an eyeshadow palette that the colors like it starts to look muddy. You can only use like two or three shades at the most and then like a shimmer shade or like it all looks like one color. This you could definitely see the colors. It's really that it's that pretty. Okay. I'm going to go in just to see what it looks like. I'm going to go in with these two purples here. So I'm just going to go like this just to say I just want to go in with as many colors as I can and um, just see how it is. Wow, that is so pretty. Very pigmented though. That's gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with that bigger brush here and I'm going to just blend that. I'm gonna go back in with this like red color very lightly, the red and the orange here, but just like that. And I'm gonna go above that purple just to blend that out just a little bit more to put color back into that eye the eye look okay I really blended it out so now I'm gonna go back in BB with this and go back in with the purples again very lightly and just add so much and be a little bit more in because I think I like overdid it <laughs> do you ever blend your eyeshadow so much sometimes that your like arm starts to hurt I do that a lot Wow, that's pretty. All right, so let me go in with the shimmer shade. What shimmer shade do I want? I don't want to do orange because then I'll look like a like a rainbow here. Do I want to do green now? Let's see. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Let me show you the orange. That's a sh wow. Okay, we have a green, like a yellowish green. Look at this. Oh, wow. Let's do this darker green. Oh, they are gorgeous. That is beautiful. All right, I think I'm going to go with this color right here. It's like a pinkish, orangey color, kind of. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. Look, it's very pretty. <gasps> this reminds me of, I just got done doing a review of the Jeffree Star Banana Fetish Palette. And can I just tell you, those metallics in that palette was the best Jeffree ever made. I actually have a giveaway going on, giving away a palette in that video. I'll leave it down below. Um, it's over on, I believe, June 1st or the 2nd. So it's over shortly. So if you want to enter that, um, I'll leave the video down below. But this is what that reminds me of. All right, I usually always go in with two shimmer shades, especially when I'm trying on a palette because this is tequila, this like greenish color one, or do I want to do this like, I wish I had like a light cream color. I'm going to go in like this greenish color, greenish beige, and just put on top. Oh, that's pretty. Put that right on top. I like to custom like my eyeshadow looks, you know, that is gorgeous because you can still see like that orangey color in person. Do you know what I mean? Behind this color. Wow. I'm going to take that one smaller brush that I've been working with. So, so far we only use two different eyeshadow brushes and these are Morphe brushes. They're fa fairly cheap. My other brushes that I like are, I need to clean them. I'm going in with this color right here. I believe it's like a blackish gray color. And I'm just gonna take very little just to deepen it up right there. Okay, so then I'm going with that bigger brush and just blend that black shade out. That blended out like a dream. All right, let me get a wipe so we can clean that puppy up. Just take a wipe. This is where the magic happens. And I take my finger and I use my nail right here. 
and I go up like this, just like that. You know, you ever see people use like the tape? It's kind of like the same thing. That is gorgeous. That is so, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do my foundation, finish my face, and come back so we can finish the eye look. I'm going to be trying on, I'm going to make a separate video. And where is it? Do I have foundation here? It's right here. This is the Jones Road foundation. It's like a bomb that a lot of people are talking about, especially on TikTok and stuff. And they're saying it's very fragrant, but this is where you just need very little. It's like a bomb and it's supposed to work really good, especially for mature skin. So I'm going to make a separate video with this. And I'm also going to do like after I put it on and I'll wait a few hours, come back. And then right before I go to bed, do another check-in to see how this works too. So stay tuned for this video. Video. and uh yeah so let me go get my face together and I'll be right back all right so we're back I did have I did try on that Jones Road foundation so I don't know if this is already up or will be up after the video if it's already up I'll leave it in the description box I have some opinions here that I think you guys will be surprised with this. So make sure you have your post notification bell on. That way, when I do upload this video, you can see it. Because like I said, I'm doing a check-in. So in a few hours, I'll come back. And then right before I go to bed, I will check in again to see how long this wears. You're going to be surprised. I, I definitely check it out if I were you. All right, so let's finish up this eye look real quick with the palette here. All right, what am I going to do? I'm gonna go in with this shade right here again. And I'm just going to go right underneath and always remember to connect right here so you don't have that empty space there, you know what I mean? Well, that is, a, I really like that palette. I mean, this color. Okay, I went in a second time just to deepen it up a little bit because with these pigments here, you want to go in light first, you know. You can always add more, but to take away, it's very hard to do, you know. That's pretty. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this red shade right here and go a little bit above that orange shade here. That's gorgeous. Now I'm going to go in with those purples and I'm going to do this again. Go it above the red just a little bit and I'm only going to go about halfway into three quarters in. Wow, that looks pretty. I wish you guys could see this in person. I like that a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to take like this detail brush and I'm gonna go in with that darkest shade right here. And with this, I only go between a quarter and a halfway in and always connect right there. The further I take, in, take it in, it'll make my eyes look smaller. So that's why I don't go all the way in with the darkest color. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with this like NYX, it's like a bluish green color, and I'm gonna put that in my waterline. Now that just made the look 100 times better. It really brought the look out. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera real quick, put my mascara on so we don't make this video too long. And then I'm using three today, the Tarte Lights Camera Action, the Makeup Geek, and then the Thrive. This is one of my favorite um, mascaras. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm all done with the finished look. I really like the way this turned out, this eyeshadow look. I don't know if I would pay $70 for this, because it's just expensive. I mean, even though I pay Natasha Dunn and Pat McGrath, but I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But $28, absolutely. I would probably even pay $50. That would probably, well, you know what? I don't know.
no, because I would, I was going to say 65 and then five more dollars would be 70. I don't know, but I can definitely tell you for $28, this is definitely a keeper. Like I said, this is more, I can, I think it's more of a pigment palette. I don't know if it says it. It says made in Italy. So you have to go in light handed and add I would add to instead of going very heavy. Do you know what I'm saying? So it took a longer, it took a little bit longer to do this eye look, which is fine because I think it turned out beautiful. I love it. I definitely recommend this palette. I truly, truly do. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know in the, in the, we'll try that again. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget I did try this, uh, foundation right here. I'm telling you, put your notification bells on. That way you can see this video because you're going to be shocked. I'm telling you. All right, guys, don't forget I do have that Jeffree Star giveaway going on. It is over very shortly, so make sure you check out that video if you want to enter. And that's everything, guys. Please like this video. It really does help me out. Like these videos if you're liking these little reviews. If it different, you know, I know it's different from my unboxings, but let me know if you like these a little bit better, if you enjoy them. The more likes I get, I know to keep doing them. Or dislike it, that helps me out too. Leave a comment, that helps me out with engagement. So like I said, let me know what you think of this eye look. Did you get this palette? Do you have it? Are you going to get it? Let me know down below. And that's everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay happy. Now. Let me try that again. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.